Well, hello friends and welcome to another episode of Cycling Insider. Well, in this episode I want to answer an interesting question I got recently and it was about why this road bike costs 11,000 US dollars. And specifically I want to talk about the 2023 Canyon Ultimate CFR Di2 road bike. So you see, it is 11,000 US dollars retail price or 10,000 British pounds. As you already know, uh, bike prices have risen significantly in the last few years, and I'm afraid that in the next few years we won't see any big decrease in the bike prices. I'm thinking for the uh, top level of the bikes and even of the entry level of the bikes, you know, you will be paying uh, high prices. So specifically this uh, Kenyon Ultimate CFR Di2 with retail price of 11,000 US dollars. Uh, let's first answer the question, who is this bike for? So you see, this is a typical example of a super lightweight climbing stiff machine. When you look at the weight of this bike, which is claimed at 6.32 kilograms, I'm guessing this is for some kind of size medium, it is absolutely astonishing. Uh, when you think about that the professional bikes are limited to minimum weight of 6.8 kilograms, for example, all the bikes you see at, you know, Tour de France, when you add pedals on this bike, when you add a bottle cage on this bike, let's add another 300 grams on top of it, you would still be below the UCI limit of 6.8 kilograms, I'm guessing, as I say, in some kind of size medium, which is absolutely astonishing. So if you are looking for a bike that can be easily ridden by by any professional in the pro peloton, then definitely you will be paying this price of 11,000 US dollars. Okay, we can now dive into the specifications and I will explain why this bike costs as much as it costs. Also, one thing to mention here is that when you look at the paint scheme on this bike, um, unfortunately, there is only one paint scheme to choose from. This is this uh, totally blacked out uh, black on black paint scheme. I'm guessing one of the reasons why Canyon is doing this is that they are saving few grams on a paint because, of course, if you paint the bike in any kind of other paint scheme that's not like fully black as a black carb, on, you will add some weight uh, onto this bike. So as I was saying, we can dive into the specifications on this bike and really see what do you get for this 11,000 US dollars or approximately 10,000 British pounds. Okay, we kick off with the frame and the fork on this bike. So the <clears throat> frame is the Kenyon's Ultimate CFR carbon fiber frame. So this is, you know, top of the line, creme de la creme, the best thing that Canyon can do. And as I say, these are the levels of the frame that the professional bike riders would be using. <clears throat> of course, this frame comes with uh, internal cable routing, uh, press fit bottom bracket, and also 12 millimeter through axles front and the back. When you look at the fork on this bike, it is a carbon fiber fork from Kenyon, their CF level carbon fiber fork. And uh, again, 12 millimeter through axle at the front and flat mount disc brakes. I will just mention here that uh, there's only one little detail I'm disappointed here. And this is that the warranty on carbon fiber frames, even this CFR level, so top of the line here, is only six years from Kenyon. So I believe that on this level, of the frame, Kenyon should offer their lifetime warranty, but uh, it is what it is. So moving on from the frame and the fork, you see absolutely no complaints here. This is, as I say, top of the line creme de la creme that uh, Kenyon is doing. And of course, this uh, frame and the fork are going to be, you know, super light uh, frames and forks. Now speaking about the drivetrain on this bike, so what are you getting? Again, you are getting a superb uh, top of the line Shimano Dura Ace uh, Di2 electronic group set. So this is the latest, greatest Dura Ace R9250 group set, 12 speed group set electronic semi-wireless group set. So semi-wireless meaning that the uh, front uh, shifters and the front mech are communicating wirelessly and then you have a cable going from the front mech to the rear mech. So here shifters, front mech, rear mech, everything Shimano Durace Di2. Again, this is the level of equipment that the professional riders are using. This is top of the line creme de la creme from Shimano and that's why again you are paying this price. When you look at the cassette on this bike, again, 
again no cutting corners shimano durais cassette 12 speed cassette and this is 1130 cassette and this is immediately paired with again shimano durais crank set definitely no cutting corners here and this crank set comes with also with the dual sided power meter which is truly excellent excellent stuff um, i don't see it here but i'm guessing this crank set is a standard 5236 crank set and i will also mention here that you can uh, upgrade the cassette from 1130 to for example 1134 if you need a bit more you know gearing and you don't need to change uh, any rear mech because this is a long cage rear mech uh, speaking about the bottom bracket as i said a standard shimano press fit bb86 again uh, there should be no creaking on this top level of the carbon fiber frames when you look at the chain uh, you will get the shimano's m9100 chain so this is the chain from the shimano's mountain bike world so this is the shimano xtr level chain again uh, the best of the best uh, creme de la creme that shimano can do absolutely no complaints here now let's look at the braking system on this bike so here you are getting a shimano's durais hydraulic disc brakes uh, front and the back and here they've used again uh, braking rotors from shimano's mountain bike world which is very interesting and these are again top of the line shimano xtr uh, braking rotors um, i'm guessing the main reason here is that they are just a little bit lighter than the shimano durais braking rotors and i will mention here that looking at the weight of these rotors i mean it's astonishing it's you know on the orders of 100 grams for a braking rotor and the front braking rotor is 160 millimeters and the rear one is 140 millimeters braking rotor okay so they've used the rear braking rotor a little bit smaller just because they can save for about 20 grams on the on the rear rotor so in my opinion i would gladly see a rear braking rotor also at 160 millimeters but it is what it is shimano xtr braking rotors absolutely top of the line creme de la creme uh, braking rotors now let's talk about the wheel set on this bike because again it's just astonishing wheel set that you are getting here so here you see you are getting the dt swiss uh, prc 1100d cut but their mon chasseral wheel set so this is a carbon fiber uh, lightest uh, greatest uh, wheel set that dt swiss is producing uh, if you want you know a proper uh, climbing wheel set if you are buying this wheel set on the open market the starting price is from 3900 us dollars absolutely high watering it's like the like the one third of the whole bike it it is the wheel set and also the starting weight of this wheel set again astonishing 1266 grams i'll just give you some uh, other highlights for example the the rear wheel is 688 grams front wheel 578 grams uh, carbon fiber of course and uh, this wheel set uh, can be turned into a tubeless wheel set uh, uh, i will have to just to double check i'm guessing that uh, it is already uh, tubeless ready tubeless prepared from canyon and this wheel set is 24 millimeters rim height and just keep in mind that the internal rim width is a bit narrow it's only 18 millimeters again comes with a superb dt swiss 180 hubs with their superb uh, dt swiss ratchet exp 36 system and all the dt swiss uh, aero spokes so absolutely in my opinion astonishing astonishing wheel set and as i say this uh, mon chasseral dt swiss wheel set with a starting price of 3,900 US uh, dollars. You see, this wheel set is also wrapped in Schwalbe tires. So these are Schwalbe Pro 1 TT tire. And it's an interesting choice here that you have a 25 millimeter tire at the front and then 28 millimeter tire at the back. So again, I wouldn't mind here if uh, Kenyon has used the 28 millimeter tires both ways, but just because you're gonna have a bit more air volume, but it is what it is with this tire and again this 25 mil tire i'm guessing again a bit of aerodynamic advantage or maybe a bit of a saving uh, of the weight of the total bike and now some smaller pieces handlebar and the stem this is a one piece combo carbon fiber piece of course so this is the canyon cp 0018 aero cockpit uh, 
I mean, superb design, no problems here. The only thing is that uh, since it is a proprietary design, uh, if you need to replace anything in the future, of course, you'll need to buy it from Canyon. If you need any, you know, fine tuning the position on the bike, well, you can't do that because it's a one piece uh, handlebar and the stem, but you can adjust a bit of the width as I see here, plus minus uh, 20 millimeters. And of course, it's a super light piece, this handlebar and the stem, it's only 440 grams. Now I have to mention here, uh, saddle and the seat post. So the seat post is a classical Canyon carbon fiber seat post. Again, super light seat post at 70 grams, astonishing stuff. 27.2 uh, millimeters in diameter, D shaped, you know, nothing special here. If you need the replacement easy to do that but the saddle is really astonishing again so you have a Sella Italia SLR uh, C59 saddle uh, super astonishing saddle because it's only 61 grams for this uh, carbon fiber saddle and there is also a rider weight limit of 90 grams absolutely eye-watering stuff and astonishing stuff so all in I hope you now have a better appreciation why uh, this uh, level of the bikes uh, cost 11,000 US dollars because as I say, if you want to buy stuff that the professionals can easily ride in any race, then yes, you gotta pay, you know, 11,000 US dollars. And of course, if you are in the market for this level of the bike, I mean, I don't need to tell you that if you got the money, you should definitely go ahead and buy it because it's just an astonishing piece of engineering and all the equipment you are getting on this bike and yes the price is i watering 11,000 but as I say if you want the stuff that professionals would easily ride and no complaints here then you gotta pay this 11,000 US dollars so I hope you like what I'm doing and this is gonna be it for today and if you like everything I'm doing well keep on watching keep on liking and as always I will see you soon in the next episode Cheers.